Hello and welcome to Structured Change. Today I'm talking to you one-to-one -one, um, in terms of where you are in your change management career, if you like. A change manager, change champion, change practitioner, there's many different terms. But what I want to do today is talk to you and illustrate in a presentation shortly um, the difference between change management and change leadership. I think it's very important um, on multiple fronts, one from the change management industry, that we understand the difference between the two. Because sometimes when we enter an assignment, it's quite easy to say, we want you as change manager to move from point A to point B. Okay, that's fine, change management, away we go. But change leadership um, goes a step further and asks the question, why are we at point A to begin with? And what is likely to occur or what are the visions of the organizations after we get to point B? Being mindful of those two focuses, if you like, one is broad, which is the change leadership piece, and one is not so much narrow, but there's a defined scope and a designed destination, predetermined destination, which is the change management. This next presentation, as I mentioned, will illustrate the two, the differences between the two. So if you're a change practitioner, this will be an important presentation for yourself to understand how to position yourself, one, in the marketplace, but also, two, how to have a conversation with a stakeholder. Now, if you're not a change practitioner and you're wanting to employ or engage change in a certain way, understanding the difference between change management and change leadership will help you define what it is you're actually seeking. So let's take a look at this presentation, change leader or change manager, and you make up your own mind. Again, revisiting the zipper analogy, which is at the core of structured change. You can see here we've got out the front of the zipper, change leadership, pulling ideas into the pipeline. We then move to change management, which is of course bringing it together and actually executing the change. And from a business perspective, we're seeking value below and sustained value um, once everything has come together. And again, um, structured change, we're looking at both the tangible and intangible change. Then moving on to, or back to the structured change framework from why through to who, you'll notice here that the organization sets, this, sets the actual strategy. But from a structured change perspective, change strategy looks up at the organizational strategy to define the what we need to do. Change leadership looks up back to the change strategy or what was defined in terms to design how we will deliver the change. And then change management simply is looking up at how the design of the change is to be and it's executed. It's pretty straightforward and you'll find that dividing up your the change strategy, leadership and management like this is a great way as a change practitioner to explain the area in you're operating in and for people who are engaging change management practitioners is to understand where you are in your journey. A separate or a parallel triangle um, is another delivery triangle part of the structured change framework and you'll see on this, as you notice on the slide before you've got the design piece which is the leadership and then you've got the execution or the delivery piece which is the change management. The idea here being is that whether it's a task here which is done by an individual, an activity which is really undertaken by two or more people, a deliverable which is something tangible. Of course a milestone looks at an outcome is very much associated with value and of course ultimately the goal which means we've actually realized the goal as set out by the organizational strategy. So from an asset management perspective, up here we're really looking at value, leadership, and here we're really looking at alignment and assurance. And that's a nice little parallel to have with the asset management principles as you undertake your change journey. In this next slide here, it even takes an, a greater look at 
the how to distill a change journey down. As you mentioned before, change strategy relies upon the organizational strategy, but leadership can be broken into these two elements. And of course, change management is to do with the execution. It's really looking at these three elements. And again, when you're actually defining your change journey with a client or within your own organization or you're seeking change skills, this is a great way to depict where you actually are and what you're trying to do. So again, what are you providing if you're a change practitioner? Am I providing a change strategy, change leadership or change management? And vice versa, if I'm actually employing or engaging change practitioners, Am I seeking a strategic change, the change leadership, in defining the change, and of course the execution of the change? One last slide just to tie it all together. So we've got the change strategy, change leadership, and of course the delivery and execution of change. I hope you found this presentation useful. And again, very handy for those as change practitioners of where they're actually operating in in terms of a change journey. All too often we see people, hire people who call it change management, where they're being asked to do things up in this space. And then sometimes you'll see people are wanting to define the change journey up here when really they're probably trying to advertise or hire a change management expert. So again, thank you for taking the time to look at this presentation and I hope this gives you a greater understanding of change leader or change manager.